Hello everybody, this is Viking Fun, back for episode 11 of Stronghold Below. Today is the day that I put my time capsule book into the time capsule. And I'll show you other things I've been doing in this world since the last time you saw this world. Alright, so I need to go downstairs. Yeah, my cat's at the multiplayer, breeding them. Cause, you know, cats are kind of useful. Oh, yeah. And Merry Christmas, guys. Happy Hanukkah, and Winter Solstice, and all the fun stuff you guys do during this time. Alright, this says, do not open this until 2025. So that's a few years from now. P.S. This room took hours to make. And other time capsules will be stored here as well. Yeah, this took me really all day. I think I've had help, but or Jared eventually helped me a little bit. Now I place this down. I know you guys don't get to see what's in it. That shall be a few years from now. This is an important moment in the history of this world. Drum roll, please. Alright, now I place a block. Means now this cannot be opened again until 2025. That's a few years from now. That's really like five years from now. On. I'm trying to get to December 22nd. So, this December 22nd, 2025 is when I reopened this time capsule. And that's, I'll probably forget what I've written inside of it, but you guys, I, I guarantee at least maybe a quarter to half of the stuff in it should come true. I hope so. Or, yeah, I know at least a couple definitely should be. Alright, now I guess I shall show you this. The work that built this room, pretty nice. Me and Jared were excavating this. He's planning on setting up like an evil parkour just to make my life miserable. Because he likes to make my life miserable. Eh. My modifications down here, but not really a lot. Got, we've got the snow golem room. Actually, I, I think I did name one of them. Yeah. Frosty the snowman. I'm hoping you guys saw that. Frosty the snowman and a happy jolly soul. And this room's not ready yet. That's like enchantment room, the end room. And now, and yes, I restored my village. Yeah, yeah, fortunately, most of them come to my house. But a few still prowl around the villages now. It's good that I finally have villagers again. Because this village was kind of empty. Uh, it's good to see the village habitable again. This is what it was like when I first spawned in this world. Okay, besides before my house was built. And I placed all that. Alright, so now I should show you the changes to this world. Eh, there's a couple changes. So I shall start off with... What do I... Besides that room I showed you, what do I show you guys, truthfully? Um, oh uh, yeah, I have a horses and, you know, I've got Donkey, I got Kit, I got Cora, my horse, and I got Tim. Yeah, I named the Donkey Donkey, like, from Shrek. <laughs> I love Shrek. And this I recently built a few hours ago, like four or five hours ago. This, yeah, I built a pyramid. It's not bad. It's actually a pretty decent sized pyramid. Not sure what I'm going to put inside of it. I'll figure that out later. And now I guess I should probably take you to that in the distance. And you guys are like, what is that? I'll be right back guys. I'll show you in a second. Now I'm running towards it. So I can show you it. I you will get to see me and Jared build more stuff. I promise you that. Injured might I might set up like frames of stuff and just fill it in and stuff. 
that bridge will get a that that bridge will get completed at some point. Yes, I built this. I might add a few things here. I think this might just be, I think this might be a fishing building, truthfully. Either that, or it's gonna be some sort of emergency building or something. I need Jared's help to help me figure it out. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting looking building. I'm sure many people have built something like that before, but yeah, but it's my version. So anyone that hates on my building, I'm not the best builder in the world, but I'm not the worst. At least I don't build with dirt. Unless you want me to build something out of dirt, but I'm building it really far, far away. So yeah. So I guess I'm, I probably will have a couple more pyramids built in the desert. As you know what, the desert would make sense to have the pyramids. If I ever get red sandstone, I'll build a red sandstone one. But I'm the only way I can do that right now until I get... I don't remember if this world has... Um, a mesa biome or badlands whatever you want to call it so the only way I can get red sandstone is from the wandering trader my least favorite villager in the universe why did they ever add him he's so annoying <laughs> he he's the one sin to minecraft okay there's, okay there's a couple I'm still mad they took away the enchanted corn apple recipe and I'm hoping someday they re-add it <sighs> Someday we'll be reunited with that beautiful recipe. Or they could at least make it slightly more expensive, like where you have to have craft a golden apple first and then surround it with gold. Or surround it with another bunch of ingots and then Yeah, there should be like stages to make the change. At least add some sort of form of crafting recipe to make it possible to craft it. So yeah. And the next episode will be me and Jared opening up our Christmas presents. And I have to finish getting everything for Jared for Christmas. I need to get spider eyes. I, need... I already have the blaze rod, so that part is solved. But I'm going to have to kill a couple spiders. Give him some puffer fish. Some magma cream. Some glistening melon and all that stuff. And then he can make me all the potions I need. And maybe he's... and maybe try and get one or two rabbit's foot. I know it's kind of sad. But... This used to be a beetroot farm. I had to move it all the way over there. Thanks, villagers. I don't know if these pens will be here forever. Or I I can leave most of these animals. So I'll have to set up like an entirely new system. Maybe I'll set it up in the savanna somewhere. Melon farm. I need to get a pumpkin farm started. So yeah, I ho hope you guys are enjoying Christmas. Christmas time. Christmas day will be upon us in a couple of days and I'm pretty pumped. Okay, and anyone that lives in Canada and is near anywhere that's snowing, snowed on the 21st. Oh my god. That was crazy. I don't even know if it stopped snowing yet. So by the time you see this video, it'll be later on the 22nd or early 23rd. I'm not sure. Because as soon as I'm done recording this, I'm probably going to go do something for a few minutes and then go to bed yeah so yeah and all right in the next clip i have something to tell you all right guys i have two other youtube channels which i'll be leaving their links in the description now that i know how to do it uh, of course i'll have to do it on youtube studio and stuff so i'll be doing this hours from now so i'll be adding the two links to the video Looking okay, at two links to both my other channels, Viking Unboxing, which has a video of me unboxing the tripod, which I'm using right now. And then there's one, then the other channel is called Viking the Rock Collector, which doesn't have a video on there yet, but I can in the next couple weeks I'll try and get at least one video on there. And I would like if you guys can, if you can get, get me to seven. Seven or eight subscribers in both those channels. I'm not expecting them to grow like as many subscribers as Viking Fun right now. Like in a few years, out of how like all my channels had the same amount of subscribers. Someday I'll be a successful YouTuber with three successful YouTube channels. What the? That's. I never noticed that before. The stars are like falling. 
Oh, I, I never noticed this. I feel like a buffoon. So yeah. Hope you enjoyed me telling you this. This is the end of the video. Leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. If there's a comment section on this video, if not, just comment on a real life video, which most likely will have a comment section of what of what you like me and Jared to do with redstone or building. As long as it's not too impossible for me and Jared to build. As long as it's something that's not like 50,000 blocks big. If we, if you want something that big, we'll have to do it in creative mode, because. We're not ready for this, okay? And Merry Christmas, Happy Winter Solstice, Hanukkah, and, and anything else you celebrate this time of year. I know this year's been tough. One of these days I will say what the new normal is in a video, but when the new normal is over, so I won't get in trouble, hopefully. Well, I shouldn't, because YouTube shouldn't have an issue. By then, it won't be a big deal. The vaccine is a thing, somewhat of a thing now. I know it's gonna be probably around summer or next fall before I get it in my body, but at least there's hope that this new normal will end and the new or new normal will come back soon, guys. But make sure you guys go check out my other two channels. I will make sure to get a video on Viking the Rock Collector within like the next two weeks, hopefully. I might just show you my two geodes. That'll be the first ever video on that channel. My yin to my yang. I'll explain more what that means when that video comes. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Merry Christmas and have a good night. Viking Fun is out for now.